is concerning how to draw your own scratch. How to draw your own sprite in scratch, sorry. So the first thing you do is there's going to be this pre-made cat here. Don't worry about that. Just click on the paintbrush for paint new sprite, and it's going to bring you to the editing area. Now, the editing area has two sides, the left-hand side the right-hand side. The left-hand side is the danger zone. You do not want to be there. Do not draw anything with this side. Just click this button. Now, once you've clicked this button and you're on this side, never click the button again. Do not go back to the danger zone, aka the left-hand side of this bad idea. Stay on this hand side, draw on this hand, the right hand side, don't ever click the button to go back to the other hand side, otherwise you're going to have trouble. So when you're drawing, it's just like a regular photo editor, like a Photoshop or GIMP or anything like that. There's tools on the right hand side that allow you to draw pretty much anything. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a head. So if I left click on the circle tool, and you have a couple options when you're using tools here. So you can do... The thickness of the line is here. You increase and decrease with this. You can make the circle filled in with the color you have selected or a circle with an outline. Most of the time you're going to use the left hand choice circle with outline. And let's just make a black circle. So I'm going to left click and drag. Now if I hold, look at this, I'm, I'm extending it, but if I hold shift, it'll make a nice and even circle for me rather than me just dragging all over and hold shift. So let's do that. So now I have this. Now, when you want to move a part around, you can just click and drag the circle. And I'm going to right, I'm going to get rid of the cat. So if you come over here to the sprites and just right click and hit delete, there we go. So I'm clicking and dragging with the mouse button. Um, I'm going to fill it in with some color. So let's say let's click on the paint bucket tool for color. I'm going to select color down here and fill it in. Good. Now let's make some eyes. So I'm going to make another circle. Remember to change your color back down here. So circle. Click and drag. There we go. One big eye. You can copy and paste using the duplicate brush. So I'm going to click it. Click and drag. Boom. There it is. Two eyes now. Let's make a little. I'm going to make a little nose. There we go. And I'm just going to do a smile, which we're going to turn into a smile in a minute. So I'll put pupils in. Clone tool, boom. I'm going to fill these with white. Fill the outside with white as well. Actually, I'm going to fill it with black inside there. There we go. Now, I want to make my smile, right? So if I click this tool, it's the reshape tool. You can reshape any shape you select. Notice when you click on something that has dots, it'll you can move the dots. So I'm going to click here a couple times. And now we should be able to slowly make a smile. The more dots you have, the more round it's going to appear. And it takes a lot of time to get to a nice round smile. And mine's not going to look 100% correct for the tutorial, but that's okay. So I ran out of dots. I can just click on some more. Oops. I have to reselect my tool when I click off of it, then reselect the shape. There we go. Like, that's like a goofy smile. Um, it's lopsided. I don't really care. I'm just going to have a weird smile going on there. Cool. Yep. So, if I wanted to delete something, this is why we stay on this side. It makes it a lot easier. When I select the tool, I click on the shape I want to delete, and I just hit the delete button. That's all. You can go back and forth with these. If you make a mistake, there's an undo button, there's a redo button. So that's that. Say I want to group some objects together. So grouping is useful when I know, okay, this is a full eye. So I know what when I want to move the white part of the eye, I want the black part to move as well. So if I click and I hold shift and I can select as much as I want, 
I can also move that, but you can come here and click the group button. Now whenever I move this, it's in a group, opposed to the other one where it's not in a group. So remember, click on one object, hold shift, and then click as many objects as you want in the group, and click the group button. And our eyes are grouped together. I can use lines and pencil, however, it's going to be very hard to fill them. So watch this, when I click line, I click and drag my line out. You have to make sure your the little snappy stays gray there and turns gray on this one because it will not close. So I think I closed that shape. I did. However, watch when I accidentally move my mouse just a little bit. Now when I try to fill it, and I filled that one too. Wow. So a lot of times it's hard to use the line tool for a lot of people. So see how I accidentally moved my mouse a little bit too far there? and it just didn't fill it? Well, you can't paint things that aren't filled like this. It will just not do anything. So you have to be very careful. I always recommend against using the pencil tool unless it's just for like little details like freckles or things that are drawn that don't need to be closed shapes, okay? So that's the only time I recommend the pencil tool. If you need to flip anything, so let's say I want to flip this triangle, you can make a box around it to select it and click the flips are over here. So that's that. Uh, that's pretty much the basics on colors and making characters, things like that, using the, the paint type tool. Oh, text is up here. You click, type your text, and that's that. So that's pretty much the basics.